here is the app that we left off since the first video if you haven't watched the first video pause this video watch the first video click the link next to this video and watch it first i will be here waiting for you okay here is the app that we left off since the first video now we just have a bunch of to do's right now in our list but the photo main for photo mania app we don't want to display photo <laughs> sorry we don't want to display the to do's we want to display a bunch of photos just like some of the most beautiful photo browser app out there so let's delete all of these things like now i just want to do this very very simple app so that you get the idea of how table view work first and then as we move along we will learn so much more okay so now we don't want to have all of these to do's what we want to do is we have a bunch of photos so let's say i want to have something like this i want to have var photos equals something and how about i want to have photo dot download all photos okay let's say i have this class called photo it model the photo that we are having and i want to call method called download all photos that will download everything down all the photos from some server maybe from instagram like the instagram browser app that we are going to teach you at total ios blueprint uh or we we'll download a bunch of tweets from twitter like the tweet the text to the browser app that we will teach you okay so this is the same the very common way to deal with data in table view and it is so critical that you get this pattern so that you can work in your own project so that you can scale your app using mvc okay so i will comment this right now it is just the thing that we want to do in this i want to do in this video okay so if you look at the project navigator there is another one called photo.swift okay it is just a simple swift file so i will just drag it beneath this so the photo dot uh, the photo dot swift we will use this class this file to create a class that inside this class it will model it will be the m of our mvc it will model the photos inside our app okay so let's go here class photo just a simple a foundation class now a photo it is going to have a name okay the name of the photo because we look at the assets.ac assets we will not download photos from the internet because that is outside of the scope of this video i don't want to mess up with all too much elements ui element those things so i want to just have use local images using ui image named okay so we have the names here one two three or p1 p2 p3 or t1 t2 t3 so the photo here let's have the name of an empty string then we have the photographer profile image name okay it's also a string let's have that an empty string so that we don't have to initialize uh, other things okay next we have the var the caption of this photo how about we have the caption to be also just initialize it into an empty string then we have the thumbnail image name so that we have the thumbnail image it's also a string equals like that okay next let's create a ver the convenience uh, initializer for this photo so in it we have name which is a string we have photographer profile image name which is also a string we have the caption a string too and we have the thumbnail name it's also a string now i know that i am going really fast here because we are in a video i go know that you guys will watch it as a video later on so i don't want to like just type in slowly and so on. you can follow along you can just watch me pause the video and then do it in your project okay next we want to initialize these properties of the class into from those parameters now let's let's pause the video right now let's have this as your challenge pause the video do it on your own and then come back and check with me later on okay i hope that you pause the video so i will do it like this i will have self.name equals name 
because the self.name is this guy and the name here is this guy. Okay. Then we have self.photographer profile image name to be the photographer profile image name and the caption self.caption to be caption and the self.thumbnail image name to be the thumbnail image name. Cool. Uh, next, that should be good to go. Okay, let me see. Assigning a property to itself. Well, I think I, I thumbnail image name. Well, this should be thumbnail name like that, right? Good. Next, we want to have that download all images, right? All photos. So that is just a way that I want to show you the really the exact same pattern that later on we will use in other courses at Total iOS Blueprint. If you join us or if you use it in your own project, then you will just have to use the same pattern, the design of your code like this. Um, so we have a class method, class function of uh, download on photos and it will return to an array of photo like that. Okay. Now this one in your project later on or in the text Twitter browser app of Instagram browser app, we will have that as going to Instagram, going to Twitter, download a bunch of things and then return to it. Okay. So in this case, I want to have var and a list and a right photo like that. For now, let's just have that as empty and then we returned the photo so that the compiler is happy. Cool. Next, just create some dummy data so that we can use it in our app. So for I in one to 10. Okay. I know that this is kind of like not relate to the tail view, but it does because I did a series about tail view, I think several months ago, and people just ask a lot about designing your model, your data model. So here we go. Okay. This is the common way to do this. So let's follow along. Inside this for loop, let's create a bunch of photos. So let's photo equals photo. Then we'll have to specify the name. How about the name here? We we'll use string interpolation with the I. So I is going to be one, two, three until 10. And so the name here, we we'll use the asset dot is the asset, which is these photos one to 10. Okay. So the photo, the photographer profile image view, it's going to be P1 to P10 like that. And the thumbnail is T1 to T10. Okay. So in the photo here, uh, profile, pro, photographer profile image name is also a string and we'll have P I like that. And the caption is, well, what is the caption? I just want to use some data and some dummy data. So before below here, I have some designer text here. So let's just copy that. And the thumbnail here, we have T I. Make sure that you fill in correctly. Otherwise, we will not having this. We are not having the those images. Okay. 